Hi, I'm Charlie Brown. You can read along in your book as you listen to the story. You'll know it's time to turn the page when you hear the chimes ring like this. And now we present, It Was a Short Summer, Charlie Brown. Yes, ma'am? Yes, ma'am. We were playing hangman. Oh, yes, ma'am. You're absolutely right. We should have been studying. You seem to forget that you haven't given us any assignments yet. Write a 500-word theme on what we did this summer? How do you teachers keep coming up with these great new ideas? Nobody can write a 500-word essay on what he did during the summer. It's ridiculous. Mine's already finished. I wrote it during study period. Violet, you drive me crazy! Do you know why English teachers go to college for four years? No. Well, then I'll tell you why English teachers go to college for four years. So they can learn how to make stupid little kids write stupid essays on what they did all stupid summer. English essay, what I did this summer. I played ball and went to camp. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 492 words to go. What did I do this summer? Well, you wanted to stay home and read comic books and watch TV, but I signed you up for camp. What I did this summer? This summer, I went to camp, and it all started on the last day of school. I've signed everyone up for summer camp. Camp, camp everyone. everyone! There's to be no discussion and no need to thank me. I feel like I've been drafted. Camp! Camp! Those summer camps are always out in the woods someplace. And those woods are all full of queen snakes. Have you ever been chomped by a queen snake? I'll tell the parents who will all be happy to go. Ah! Well, I guess we're all ready. What about Snoopy? Snoopy's ready. <laughs> As you are aware, I've been chosen your tent leader and activities chairman. I feel my valuable experience at baseball managing will stand us in good stead. Good, good grief. grief. Now, we've worked out a schedule of competitive sports. We'll start with a little competition with the girls across the lake. We're going to indulge in a little swimming race with them. And I don't want you guys to show them up too badly. Swim steady, but don't make them look too bad. After all, boys are stronger. Remember, swim to the forts and back. First kid back wins for his tent. Ready, set, go! Come on, team! 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 Come on! Come on, team! Troops, that was a sorry performance this morning out on the lake. But we won't let it discourage us. It isn't like we lost a ball game or something really important. It's like we had a disaster. Perhaps we should seek revenge for this morning's fiasco by challenging the girls' camp to a softball game. That first, pot one up and over third base. Lucille hears from Ted. Rita, you'll bunt toward first base and beat it out. This means we'll have the bases full and I'll come up and smack the grand day at that all afternoon. Thrashing. 
and in softball, my strongest point. I bet they're happy. They really beat us. Must feel good to be a winner. I bet they feel great. I feel terrible. Surprise! Peppermint Patty, what are you doing here? We thought we'd come over and cheer you up. Maybe sing a few songs around the old campfire. You know, pack up your troubles. There's a long, long trail. Or take me out to the ball game. Mm, I feel terrible. It was bad enough to have been so thoroughly thrashed in softball. But there were plans for a nature hike the next day. Hey, there's a bug in your hair, Charlie Brown. Where? Where? Brush it off. That's all right. It's gone now. It fell down your neck. Look at this. A big yellow butterfly. It's unusual to see one this time of year. Unless, of course, it flew up from Brazil. They do that sometimes, you know. They fly up from Brazil. And they... This is no butterfly. This is a potato chip. Well, I'll be. I wonder how a potato chip got all the way up here from Brazil. We've just got to do something to show everybody we're not born losers. Hey, Charlie Brown, they're having a canoe race. A canoe race? Come on, Snoopy. If we can win the canoe race, everyone will forget about the softball game. We're going to win this canoe race, Snoopy, or we're going to die trying. I'm going to paddle and paddle and paddle and... I'm exhausted. I feel like I've paddled a hundred miles. I wonder if we won. No, but you got four feet from the dock. Well, troops, I have a plan that will recoup for us our lost prestige. I propose we issue a challenge to the girls across the lake to a wrist wrestling contest. That's not a very good idea. They have Lucy, you know. I submit to you to represent the honor of all us boys. None other than... The Masked Marvel. The boys from tents number two and number three would like to issue a challenge to you girls to a little wrist wrestling championship. You better be better at wrist wrestling than you are at swimming or ball playing or canoeing or running or jumping or pillow fighting or sack racing, or field hockey, or... Good grief. Today, after lunch, the girl's representative, and I might add, the world's champion, will meet your challenger and decide the issue. Hooray for Lucy! Yay! The Mass Marvel! Hooray! <laughs> paper, Charlie Brown. What did you get? I got a C minus. That's too bad. Oh, well, it was a short summer, Charlie Brown. And it looks like it's going to be a long winter. <laughs>